Alrighty folks, things are going pretty well in Relicia Park's Glyph, uh, what's it called? Abyss? Glyph Abyss? Um, the first two were pretty, pretty easy, pretty chill puzzles. Uh, maybe the last two will, and if, they, if the last two are, then I think that's it. Because I'm not going back to solve the ones that were just like horrendous. I've decided, I, like I don't want that experience, I just want some nice puzzles to end on. Um, I would just be subjecting myself to a bad time. Uh, so we're just gonna like see if we can get through this. And hopefully these, these two puzzles are nice. Um, what do we have? Let's reset it so I can just look at it as it is. Because sometimes the way the things are like uh, grouped up at the start is important. Although I think all these groups are just bad. Yes, okay. Well, I don't know if all of them are, but. No, they all look pretty bad. There was something wrong with them, yeah. Do they, do they all have something different wrong with them? So the top left area has the directions and the colors. Okay, no, it's, they're, they're going to overlap, all right. Um, I thought there might be just some silly gimmick going on around how they're grouped up. Okay, what do we have? So this is just going to be like... Quick, and yeah, once again, we have space to make just like three entirely... Sorry, four entirely separate sets of three, if, if that's possible. It might not be possible though. It probably isn't going to be possible. Uh, but the last two, that's all they were asking for. Um, okay, so what's the most limited thing we have? Okay, okay, so here's an interesting one. We have, let's, let's find some like unique things. So this is white, it's the only white. Uh, black and gray, that's not true. But what numbers? One, two, lots of twos, lots of ones, lots of blanks, yeah. Um, then, uh, left and right, <coughs> um, left and right, there's, there's, there's quite a few of each, well there's two lefts, three right, uh, no, two rights, <laughs> yes. It would have to be two lefts. No, hold on, two lefts. No, there are three rights, okay. But only, no, there are three lefts as well, there we go. That makes sense. Can they just go together, the lefts? No, okay. Um, can the rights go together? No. Cool, so we know that these are going as part of a set of differing directions. Okay, so we have like a left, center, right, and then another left, center, right. So if you're going to be part of a left, center, right, which right do I think you would go with? Okay, that's a good way to do it. So there's two rights, and uh, no, there's three rights. Where's the other one? There's one up here. There's four rights. Ah! Okay, I'm miscounting a lot of things. There are four rights, and there, oh, there's, there's duplicates, interesting, okay. And there are four lefts, okay. <laughs> there are four rights and four lefts. Um, oh, so in theory we could be doing sets. Uh, okay, so I need to reconsider whether it's possible to do, it, it could be possible to do a left group. Oh, that feels likely, in fact. Because uh, that's that's happy, right? Yes. Um, and then with a right group, with a right group, that would not be possible. Okay. Because there's no white. Yes. Okay. So. These would have to connect over to these, but that can't be true for one of them. Uh, that's not true, because we can connect on multiple sides, okay. Does that tell me then that these are probably just like going in the middle, and then we've got two things on either side? Um, okay, let's think of ways to use these. Oh, sorry, to connect these with these. So I guess we could do, do we have a plus black? No, we don't. Interesting. 
uh, do so then we're not connecting one of those to there so we must be connecting one of these to that um, I mean if we're connecting at all <laughs> then we're not like why am I even bothering with cross connections if like it seems like I often don't actually need them uh, I kind of feel like it's going to be necessary here isn't it what can I say about the pluses the pluses don't go together, so the pluses are once again part of a switching of shapes. So the plus can help switch from a circle to an eye somewhere. Um, so like, let's say we put this up here, then you can go with that. No? One, two, zero. Oh, two grays. Okay. So no. But the same is true for this. There's no black right to circle, uh, I. Oh, interesting, okay. So then what are you doing, plus? What do you want? You're definitely not going with two of the pluses because there are, there are two of the pluses, but they, they don't make a set. So you are going with two other things. You're not going with this fellow, you're not going with this. Well then, I mean, there's a million other shapes you could go with, so why not consider them? Uh, well, if you were with this, is there a left two gray? There's not a left two gray, as far as I can tell. So you're not going with this. Is there a, well, there's only one white thing, so that's bad. Is there a left to gray? No, it's the same situation. Is there a, yeah, figuring out who you go with is gonna narrow things down a bit, I think. Is there a left to white? Well, no, so we're definitely not going with you. Um, so you want white, it's a one. So you must be going one of these down here. Uh, if you're with a plus, well then we did another plus, which we do have, but it's not the right direction. If you're with, so these two are gonna have the same requirements as well. If you're with this, then we'd need a one gray circle, which we have. Okay. And there was only one of those. Interesting. That means these two are gonna like this? This, this works as a thing, right? Let's just shove these over. Let's say these are part of a four. Do they all light up? Yes. Okay. Um, I kind of want to split these apart though. Okay, let's just keep them together, but over here, they don't have to be on the grid for now. I can just remember that I've sorted them out. Okay. Um, then we've got a bunch of things left over, over here. So we have this eye. There are three eyes that wouldn't go together, so I is also part of connecting shapes. They almost, no, they don't quite go together at all. Okay, um, so black eye with a, ooh, okay. So it's also part of connecting with shapes. That means a plus needs to be involved. Which kind of plus? A blank plus, then we need a right, blank gray plus, then we need a right white something. So no, it's gonna to have to be a left plus, but then we still need a white shape to go with it. Uh, ooh, okay, so that can go there. Are we just doing that multiple times? Do we have do we have three sets of four? Do these go together in some, oh, they totally do, don't they? Mm, no, they don't, they do not go together. Okay, they like almost do in interesting ways. Okay, so we have a set four over here. Yeah, that is satisfied, right? Yes. Um, so these folks, a right black circle one could connect to a white left circle if we had a, 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 um, a center gray circle, which we do. That's interesting. So you could be the connective tissue between this and this, right? Let's just check that it works. Yes, okay. I'm gonna split them apart just because it'll be easier to move stuff. 
So you can be connective tissue. Um, can we form a four? Do we have a left? No, we don't. Okay. Let's say, can we like this horizontal thing, the connective tissue, can that be a set of four? But no, we don't have like another left to use. Okay. So let's think. So this is the same thing though. Oh, but this, yes, yeah, so this could be, okay. So if we put them on the ends, um, we did that and this. Oh. So that's a set of the, the, this connective tissue, and then there's also this would light up as well. Okay. Um, is there just somewhere I can put these gray ones? Well, they're not going to be part of. Oh, there totally is, isn't there? We can just, just okay. We're just making a perfect cross shape, aren't we? Does this come together? Yay! Okay. Holy moly! Holy moly! Uh, <laughs> just two sets of three. Are we sorting again? We're going to have to sort these out, aren't we? To find the sets of three that go together. Oh, it's four dimensional. It's four dimensional. I can't do four dimensions. Uh, okay. Okay, I guess we're doing it. Um, <laughs> Okay, but it is just that it's fine two sets of three in this mess. Uh, okay, we're sorting. We are sorting. Let's do. Uh, we put these at the top. We use that. We just put the arrows in their right place. There's not actually that many. Oh no, there's. So there's three black circles. So right like that, I guess. Um, that's circle. So okay, so do that and that. And then gray, we'll do something similar here. Right, do we have, oh, we have another gray circle, which is also right. So that's similar to the black situation. In fact, it's exactly, it's identical. It's interesting. Um, then white circles. Uh, we've got that one on the left. We've got these two. One on, another one on the left, and then you go there. The numbers are going to get confusing, but whatever. Uh, but that, that's just circles. Oh no, there's only two eyes. That's interesting. So let's do pluses next. Uh, well, let's do the black plus to the top. We'll put them next to each other. That's fine. Uh, you're going there, you are going there, you're there, you're there, we've got a white plus that's centered, okay, and then we've got these two. Uh, and we don't have a center eye, so we can just put them like this. That's, oh, that white bit, they go down here. They're in the right place already. Okay. Um, now we sort through this. So it's just the numbers I'm not categorized by, right? Because we've got a uh, color along this axis, um, shape along this axis, but then within that axis, we've got direction. So then we've just got number missing. Okay. Um, let's start with the fact that there's only two eyes over here. Um, see if we can match them up with things they could go with. So a left white eye would need to go. So let's say we stuck with the same color. There is a white plus, which is that, but there's no right circle. So that wouldn't work out. What about the right though? There is a left white circle. Is that a set? So you, you, a one we need. Ooh, no, we don't have a one left right circle. So not same color. Let's consider a different color. So we're gonna have to go like diagonal or like that. Um, 
So the left, you could be with, oh my gosh. <laughs> you could be with uh, a gray plus, uh, if you were with the other left. So, like, so the left plus zero, then we need a, a another left that would be a two up here, which we don't have. If you were with this one, left plus two, then we need a left circle blank, which we don't have. Okay. So then what if we're with these? It's just a tree search. If we're with you, uh, then we need a center circle, which we don't have. And same for this one. Okay, cool. Uh, from like this space here. Uh, okay, so then let's imagine that we're going up here, um, we have a, so we need a two left gray, which we don't have. And here we need a zero left gray, which we don't have. And then this one, we need a center. We don't have a center. We need a center. Okay. Now you, so cross you off. You're not part of a thing. You could go with this, in which case we need a center uh, black circle, which we don't have. Uh, same for that. Uh, right, we need a right black circle with a number one on it, which we don't have. Here, we need a right black circle with a zero on it. We have a set. You, you, and you can go together. Yes. Um, like the, the 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 difficulty here is that that might include something that's in another in the other set that I need to find, and so therefore that's not the set. So I guess I should just write down valid sets. Is that right? That is that is right. Okay. So one valid set is, um, uh, how do I do this? Um, <laughs> uh, right. I um, white one with a uh, right. I mean, okay. So what's the what, okay. better way of noting this down? What's the same between all of them? Just the rightwardness. So rightwardness, and then we have. Uh, I white one. Then we have um, plus uh, gray two. And then we have circle black. I mean, I, I, like, I don't need to write down all the others, right? I can just say, like, what's the same, what's different? <laughs> that's a better way of writing it down. Okay, so I can just say what's the same. The, the thing that's the same for the first set, can I say that? No, 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 no. I need to say what the thing is and then what's the same. So if we start with uh, the... Uh, right, I, white, one, this is the same. And that's the only thing that does change, and then we can work it out from that. Okay, cool. We found a way of notating this. All right, um, we should consider others though. So let's jump up to the top. So left, it would require a center, one of these, which we don't have. That would require a center, one of these, which we don't have. This would require a right, one of these, which we do have. But it has to be one. This would require a right one of these ones, which we do have, which is a two. Okay, so yeah, there's like overlapping potential things here. So right I white one with uh oh no, this doesn't do it, does it? Because these are gonna be the same notation. <laughs> Ah. 
So the direction is staying the same and the numbers being different and the color being different and the shape being different. Yep. Um, there are two of those, I guess. Uh, I guess I could note down what the other thing is. Okay, so... Um, so one of them was uh, right... Oh, I don't need to put that. I can put uh, plus gray uh, two. And we can do uh, plus black zero. Okay, then that does do the whole thing. That's, that's probably a much neater way of doing this. Um, okay, so that was that. So you have two possibilities. <laughs> now what do I do? Should we start with the plus here? Is there anything that could involve the plus? Um, so this plus, wait, did I also consider like, what if we go from these to the circles or from you to the circle? No, we did because we went up to there and then down to there. Yeah, that's the same. Okay, you with same colors. Well, we know that doesn't work because we already tried same colors with the eye and that's the only one that's there. Okay, so you have different colors. Well, if it's different colors, then we have to stay the same shape yeah, that's interesting. So we have to stay the same shape. So we have to go like up here like this. Uh, so in fact, yeah, we have to either go like that or like this. Therefore, we're looking for uh, one, two, zero. So that is actually valid. That, 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 I think. Plus, plus, plus. Uh, center, left, right. One, two, zero. White, gray, black. And that is distinct from that, that, that. So that's two sets, isn't it? Have I done it? This, ah, uh, this, uh, and this. And then you with you and you. Let's hope I'm not wrong. Get out of the way. Uh, 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 that's a set. This is totally a set. Ta da! I did it. I wonder if there are more sets there. Is that does that have multiple solutions? I don't know. Okay. Glyph Xendex. <laughs> I don't know why I'm gonna write this down. I mean I guess I'll write it down because I can type it in, but I'm not gonna get anything for it. Uh plus nine horseshoe backwards S lightning bolts. Uh we can read this. Do not forget the name written above you in this room. You may narrate of the heart of the forest and use this name to summon the secret fragments. Okie dokie, down here we go. Um, uh, no, I'm reading the wrong code. Plus nine, a horseshoe, uh, backwards S, uh, lightning bolts. Left secret fragment activated. Uh, oh, I lost my other one. <laughs> oh yeah, because the levels uh, unload. Uh, where was the other one? Uh, I wrote it down somewhere. Which one did I finish? Oh, it's that one. So backwards S, horseshoe, plus nine, zero. I think this is all we're going to see. <laughs> um, yeah, uh, respect to anybody that managed to solve all of them. Yeah, I, I've just decided that I would rather end on this kind of positive note than a bunch of puzzles that I feel like I have to brute force. Um, unfortunate, like I would definitely love it if the game didn't have puzzles that were like that. Um, 
But I also respect that, you know, they can be interesting in a different kind of way. Like the, with the Spire one, what's clearly happening there is it's like, oh, here's like all the ways in which you can overlap five Spires, which is kind of like mathematically interesting, but for me at least not puzzle solving interesting. Um, I mean, maybe there is a good way of doing it, but it's beyond me. Um, and yeah, I'd rather end on this note than end on, oh, I've just spent like five hours uh, like trying to brute force a puzzle. Uh, and going a bit crazy in the process. Um, so yeah, I'm happy to leave this here. I think this is this is good. This is a um, it's a good lesson. It's a good. I'm, I'm, I'm evolving. I mean, I've, I'm sure I've done this before, <laughs> um, but like you don't have to solve everything. It's good to leave some things behind. Um, it means in theory, I could come back to it one day and try it again, or like, or, or, but also like. It's 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 good for some things to be unknown. Um, the dogs are howling again next door. <laughs> they often do this at the end of my <laughs> videos. Um, all right, yes, we're leaving it there. I'm sorry, it's not a satisfying five things. Okay, thoughts on this game? Very very cool. Um, huge. <laughs> Way bigger than I expected. This is like a full game playthrough. I, you know, this would have easily could have been a uh, like a paid for game on Steam or whatever. Um, uh, cool idea. I just yeah, I'm always happy to play more of these rule discovery things and combining rule discovery with Silk Band. This is a really neat premise. I'm surprised. I'm, like I'm still surprised it did not go to. Um, like mixing the mechanics. I realized that the mechanics wouldn't interact with each other, but the placement of the objects would because they get in each other's way and that kind of stuff. And I feel like there's something to do there. Um, maybe it wasn't interesting enough or something, but I don't know. Um, like, well, I mean, of course you could define rules between them, but then there'd be a whole nother set of rules to learn. And I think it'd be cleaner to have it that they don't interact with each other on a rules basis, but that they just get in each other's way. And, you know, maybe that just wouldn't be interesting. I feel like you could make some interesting puzzles there, but like not too many. Um, I mean, I guess I still haven't seen much of this hint place. What else is in here? I think I read that bit. And this is this. So then, how does this work? Oh, I see. So you can go in a different direction. Do, the, do they have hints for like the um, seven? This is for the mechanic introduced in double spies. Okay, cool. Rest assured that the rule you've learned so far has not changed. You need to put four spies in a straight line. For the spies all in one row or one column will not help you here. Okay, I mean, that's a very strong hint. Spies can activate in a diagonal line. Okay, and that gives you the answer. 15, so this is the off 45 degrees. No special tricks here. The rule of spy remains the same. Put the four spies in a straight line. Yep. Yeah. We realize by now the kinds of lines you've created this far will not help you here. There's one more way. <laughs> okay, that's a funny way of notating it. Uh, Spire 22. There are many solutions to this level, though all of them require at least one line to be a slanted off diagonal line. All solutions also require at least one diagonal line, and every spire is always used in exactly two different lines. Is this the first one where we had like five, I have to make five things out of 10 or 11? Sorry, no spoiler here. As your final hit, most but not all of the possible solutions also can exactly one horizontal, one vertical line. Okay. Uh, I'm gonna have to leave. Uh, interesting, but no, no hints for the uh, the abyss. It really wasn't abyss, wasn't it? Uh, just kind of want to see a little bit more of what's here. So, like, what kind of things did you hint here? Oh yeah, I'm actually kind of curious to say see how you said this. So yeah, sure, that's the main mechanic. This will be the the case four lights that activate when each of the four rules of Shard are met. Keep an eye on that to see when the new rule introduced here is satisfied. This rule involves whether or not again yeah, it's the X. Okay, that's the easiest one. Third rule. The gate has four lights that activate when each of the four rules of the shard are met. Keep an eye. Yep. This rule seems to be broken when a particular formation of shards is made. Rule three of shards. You must not have three shards next to each other in a row or column, regardless of whether or not they are connected. Okay. I mean, that's not quite the rule, is it? So, since that's, oh no, it is the rule. It's just two separate rules like that. So yeah, okay. Since that's from the addendum to the third rule. Third rule of shard in which you cannot have a three in a row has an extra condition. No, 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 yeah, that was one rule. Was it? I can't remember. There's something to do with there being two different types of shard involved, round and sharp. 
Okay. Yeah. All right. Uh, cool. Cool that there's a hint system involved. And yeah, very impressive to have done this in puzzle script as well. Um, and like with less, it's like an open world kind of puzzle thing. I know when people who play other kinds of games hear open world, they expect something completely different. But I think open world means something within the puzzle space. It means like you go and explore and you've got different branches you can go down and do it in like a non-linear uh, way. Um, so yeah, doing this kind of thing without the kind of crazy hackiness that I had to do for uh, Convert Confusion is very cool uh, and very interesting systems to, to make it work like this. Uh, yeah, super neat. Uh, I've already said what my favorite mechanics were. It's for the same, that's still true. Uh, however, Spire ended up being like my least favorite in terms of the Abyss puzzles. Uh, yeah, just because they went to like what I feel is intractable spaces. I would much rather have just had something that was like very deductive that I could just work through. Um, yeah, so my, my order stays the same. Spire at the top, Pylon, Totem, Glyph, Shard. Yeah, I'm going to stick with that. Um, and for the reasons I mentioned before. Um, I do feel like Shard and Glyph were a little too similar to each other as well. They also, they also had that kind of negative. As in, I mean, there are obviously a lot of differences, but they both had like a rule of three. They're basically the, the inverted rule from each other. Um it would have been nice to have something like I. I think the thing that works really well with like Spire and the to the pylon is the kind of um, like the 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 distant rules, like action and the distance, like things affecting each other from afar. It also leads to more puzzles that are like um, not as fiddly, like because the things don't have to be like close together. There's like way more space, um, like you know, because these can be in a line at any distance from each other, and these can form connections at any distance from each other. Um, so yeah, I think those two mechanics also happen to lead themselves, uh, lend themselves towards uh, less fiddly puzzles. Uh, oh yeah, it was cool finding the secrets. I like that each of the different kinds of secret codes was a different format in each world. Uh, yeah, and I especially like the one that was just like, oh, you had to see the shape of the garden. That was a neat one. Uh, and what were the others like? I guess it was the one with the X's in the trees where you have to make the line. There was the one uh, where you sort of had to find a space in the level. Or there's the one where you could just like exit the level through a tree. <laughs> that was weird. Uh, or was that, wait, was that the shape? No, 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 no. Yeah, that was a different one. Which one was that? I don't remember. Was there a clue beyond just the dark tree that you could walk out of? I can't remember. No, I don't think there was, was there? What was the last one? Uh... Uh, the paths never were right, or were the yeah maybe the paths were. I don't remember. This is the X's in the trees. This is the shape of the garden. This was oh there was the one that was the like the kind of cryptic little riddles on the the epitaphs. Okay, um, yeah they were all neat, very cool. Um, yeah. Uh, yeah, I guess like ultimately I kind of feel like if it just had a little bit more like constraint on where it decided to go with the abyss puzzles, um, I personally would have enjoyed that more, but I, I understand that different people have different preferences, that's fine. Uh, I guess like, uh, oh, so I did already, um, I, I, I tried to like look up if it was worth going back to that that. Um, epitaph. Well, first I was just trying to see like what even was that epitaph in the intro that was weird, and it's one that just had a V on it. And I did, I did end up seeing like what that was about. And it's not like a secret thing. It's like some kind of reference. I guess it's meant to be like five, and there's lots of fives in this game, something like that. I, I don't know the specifics of it, but something like that. I don't think there's like a secret to find there or anything. Um, yes. Okay. Cool. I think that's that's everything. Yeah, it would have been nice for it to have a little bit of music. <laughs> um, but I understand that's difficult, especially not to just find like some like royalty free thing and throw it on top. Um, Cause like, like the reason I didn't add my own music is because 
like then get like copyright strikes on the video or whatever the term is um and that would probably likely still happen with royalty free music like unfortunately even if a thing says oh you can use this on youtube and it's fine and no, it just it still happens uh so there's not really anything you can do about it um but yeah it would have, would have been nice to have a bit of um even if it was just a bit of ambience or whatever that would have been nice um yeah cool um had a had a good time and yeah still my favorite moments of the game were like le- figuring out the the uh the diagonal tricks in spire that was fun cool uh all right see you next time folks um and we'll play another game i don't know what we're playing but of course it will be very puzzly and hopefully won't drive me mad right see you then folks goodbye